In this video, I'm going to show you a simple route combination that is going to help you beat every defense in Madden 22. You're also going to be able to do this route combination without any route chemistries or uh, route abilities or hot route master, any of that stuff. So we're going to show you how to do this literally just with a regular team. We're going to be using the, the Packers for this concept. And this is really one of my favorite plays, especially if your opponent is double Maybelline or if they're just playing a lot of zone defense. Heck, you can run this against anything. I call this a constraint theory play. And the reason I call it that is because when the defense starts to kind of over um, compensate to try to stop some of your better route combinations, oftentimes what they'll do is they'll leave themselves very vulnerable to some of the most basic concepts in Madden. And so uh, today we're going to teach you this. You can do this out of several different formations. Uh, but I personally like the trips tied in to do this out of. We are in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. And uh, what I like to do with this formation here is we're just going to put in uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling here. And then we're going to put in Alan Lazard in the inside slot there or the outside slot. And then you can do this out of any play as well. And I like to do it out of PA kind of go. I'm going to give you two different versions of this. One of them is a uh, pass protected version or a, a version that is really good against the blitz. And then the second one is going to be a version that is really good if they're not blitzing you and they're going with a little bit of max coverage. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to learn more about the trips tight end formation, I've got the entire offensive ebook linked in the description below. You can actually get access to that ebook. In addition to that, you can get all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks by joining our Patreon membership for only $10 a month. You're going to get unlimited access to that. You're also going to be getting weekly pro tips and meta updates that are delivered to you every single week that kind of give you uh, a good grasp of what's going on in the game or different updates um, to the game that you need to know as far as like how different coverages work or new defenses or new uh, tips and things like that. And then also you're going to be able to get your questions answered. So if you ever have any issues with any of the stuff in the, in the membership, there's a whole community of people there to support you in our discord, which is also linked in the description. So if you want to check that out again, that's available in our description. And just wanted to run through this against all the coverages. So the first one we're going to look at is cover four and the route combo is really simple. I'm going to show you both of them here. So the first one is um, out of PA counter go. We're actually going to utilize this rounded route to Robert Tunyon as a really good man beater. It's one of the best man beating routes in the game. And then we're going to hitch Lo uh, Lazard. So as you can see, we've got a curl to about his scantling, a hitch to Alan Lazard. And then we're going to take Devonte Adams and put him on an out. And this has been a great concept in Madden for several years. You're going to see here that typically your hitch or your curl on the left side will be open regardless of the coverage concepts. That was cover four. Let me show you. Um, let me show you cover three here. So this is again just a very basic cover three. And again, you see there that time the the, the yellow actually played kind of crazy. I'll show you that one more time. Um, but but this is something that you can really rely upon um, in terms of like I said just any coverage you know anything that they're gonna do so and you can put that outside guy on a smoke screen if you want to uh, sometimes that smoke screen can be helpful so again just outside pass lead the hitch and you see it's wide open and then I'll show you this against cover two now cover two defends this um, the best but a lot of times when people are running cover two that means they're gonna be double Maybelline or running 30 yard clouds so that's just something also that you want to keep in mind but I'll show you here I've got two vert hooks I've got the purple um, and then as you can see here I've got this kind of yellow zone in the middle of the field which is my user um, and so the user will be able to help on this he'll be able to go over to the outside there um, but by and large as you see that vert hook stays inside and I'm able to hit my little hitch on the outside for easy yardage so we're able to beat all of the major coverages now the other reason why i wanted to show this video today is because this is a really really good route combination for whenever your opponent is running um kind of a double mabel defense because their user is going to get stuck in the middle of the field and so when you run this route combination it looks just like this here you're going to see their user is going to get sucked to either that curl or the hitch but he can't guard both and as you can see i can easily pick whichever one the user doesn't guard. Now let's say that the user, um, this is just kind of a little bit of a, you know, kind of adjustments piece here, but let's just say that the user decides, hey, I don't really like them throwing the ball over there um, on that left-hand side of the field. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go user that side, you know, myself. So I'm gonna kind of illustrate that by putting them in a curl flat to that side. What you're gonna notice on this, is it gonna, it's gonna open this little rounded out route and you can hit that kind of right in that little area right there, just off of the rip, right off the snap. And uh, you can kind of rip that ball to the tight end. 
Now, this is where our secondary route combination starts to come into play. Whenever we start to notice that they are, you know, kind of playing some real underneath coverage, something like this right here, this is where I love this uh, secondary element. And the secondary element is really, we're gonna flat our tight end and we're going to either streak or wheel the running back. And the reason this is so good this year is because the vert hook will never play that running back wheel whenever the running back is on the short side of the field. So if we were on the opposite side, I would recommend just simply flipping your trips tight end. And I'll show you this um, again here. And now they're gonna be in such a dilemma from a user perspective, because if they go to the right, then we're gonna work the left side. If they go to the left, then we're gonna work the right side. And then you'll see here again, just low ball this running back route. And as you can see, it is so effective against zone coverage. Now, the running back route is kind of your 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 uh, hidden gem if you do get a man look. Now, if you get a man look, my personal opinion, I would really keep that first route combination. And the reason why is because against man to man, this tight end out route, I don't think you're gonna find much better in the game for just a simple man beater. One thing, if you wanted to send five out against man coverage, um, then you might consider just putting the running back on you could put him on a wheel. You could also put him on a streak and I'll show you something really interesting. So let's say that the safety on the right side, he runs to the, the tight end route. This little running back streak, you can actually inside pass that this year really easily against man to man. So the majority of running back routes this year are really good against man. Which leads me to my last piece on this. If you were to stay with that first route combination that we gave you with the double, with the wheel and the flat, what you'll notice with this is if you low ball this route to the running back, he'll still beat man for you. So you kind of have a really nice little play that is going to force them to have to defend you in a really interesting way. Um, they're not going to be able to just have two vert hooks and two purples, which is one of the things that a lot of people will try to do. And the reason why is because of this trips concept on the right side, right? They can go use of that route, but you see that bird hook is not gonna do anything to help them. And as you can see, the route combo is really effective. So anyways, real simple route combo. My recommendation would be to be to the wide side of the field. I just wanna take a, a quick second longer um, to show you why this is important. And it's primarily not because of what's gonna happen on the left side. The left side will actually be better um, to the short side. The problem is where the running back breaks on this route, it's not really effective because you'll see here that this vert hook will be in the area. Now again, he's not gonna play it super well, but he's still gonna be in the area. So that's just something that I wanted to kinda, um, you know, just make you aware of. If you're gonna run this, you need to kinda be aware of this, that you don't wanna run this with a with your trips to the short side if you're gonna run the wheel and the flat. Um, and the primary reason is because the vertical hook zone is right in the area for where the running back's gonna be. You wanna be on the other hash. That just helps significantly, with, primarily with the vert hook. Now I will say, it does make your left side concept better. So if you wanted to build something around the left side, you could, there's a, a unlimited things you can do. It's part of being creative in this game. But this concept is still very good over here and you'll see why. This little, lane, little um, pocket opens up for the hitch no matter what. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you, it was helpful. If you like this offense, you wanna learn more about it, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. That's where you get everything. You literally get unlimited access to all of our eBooks and all of our weekly pro tips and updates that we've been doing all season long and we'll continue to do uh, for you guys um, throughout the rest of the Madden 22 season. If you guys want um, to get that, there's a link in the description below that you can click on and you can go check it out.